Today I will be taking a crack at another random poem. This time is going to be less random though, since I specifically want to do a Charles Bukowski poem. So before I found out which poem, I'll give a little background on him. Firstly, Bukowski is my favorite poet. I had heard of him before, but never read any of his work until my sister got me the book The Pleasures of the Damned for Christmas a couple of years ago. I really like how brutally honest he is with his writing. He always tells it how it is. He doesn't try to write, and just puts the words to the page without even thinking of being deep. But it often still comes out that way. Whenever I read his work, I hear his voice so clearly, a grumpy old man who has put in the time to get where he is. I will still use the random page format I used from the last random poem post, specifically taking from The Pleasures of the Damned, which has 548 pages. And the result is 507, which gives us the poem Face of a Political Candidate on a Street Billboard. A pretty descriptive title. It goes like this. There he is. Not too many hangovers. Not too many fights with women. Not too many flat tires. Never a thought of suicide. Not more than three toothaches. Never missed a meal. Never in jail. Never in love. Seven pairs of shoes, a son in college, a car one year old, insurance policies, a very green lawn, garbage cans with tight lids. He'll be elected. My initial impression, as with most Bukowski poems, is just a purely honest opinion. I think what he's trying to say is fairly obvious. The politician who presents themselves the best often wins. I don't think there is any need to go line by line with this one, as it's mostly a description of a well-kept politician on a billboard. The last line could be taken as the literal, he'll be elected, or as sarcastic, seeing the lies in the billboard. This was written in 1974, and in some ways is still relevant today, though maybe in a different way. The Democratic primary agrees with Bukowski's point where Joe Biden is winning, mostly due to what most people consider as electability, despite his opponents' policies generally being more agreed upon by voters. However, if we look to the other side of U.S. politics, Donald Trump is nearly the opposite, and yet is currently in office. So it's tough to say whether Bukowski's poem really is relevant. But with Bukowski, often the importance of the writing is less in the actual meaning, and more of an attitude that he brings. His genuine nature shows through the conviction he portrays in his writing. This is what makes him my favorite poet. Even if I disagree with the content, I still respect his work and find enjoyment from experiencing it. This poem was pretty straightforward, so there wasn't too much to read into. The nuance coming more from if you choose to read it as sarcasm or not. I wanted to stick to the randomness, so this is what we were given, and I'm sticking to it. Thanks for watching.